Hey everybody, Summertime Ken here, and uh, I wanted to do a quick video. As many of you guys know, if you follow my channel, uh, I'm really big into um, kayaking and kayak fishing uh, in particular. And um, some of my videos <clears throat> throughout this, this cold winter that we're having, um, you know, my mind starts thinking about uh, potentially purchasing um, an addition to my kayak I already have and my kayak accessories that I already have. Uh, if you've watched my videos in the past over the last couple of years, um, I've predominantly used an Ascend FS12T, uh, Kayak Ascend being the, uh, the brand of kayak from, uh, from Bass Pro Shops. And uh, nothing wrong with that kayak at all. Um, as a matter of fact, um, up here in the top you can see a link to um, one of my recent reviews just, a, just several months ago um, of my kayak as well as a newer model that they came out with. But mine is a couple of years old now. Um, it's big, it's bulky, it's getting tired to, especially if I, if I just go out and kayak by myself, um, to, 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 care, to, to lug around. Sometimes I have to have a kayak cart as well. Um, so <clears throat> I'm kind of looking on, you know, this cold winter, I can't go out and do a lot of outdoor activities like I like to do. So um, it gets me thinking about um, items I'm going to purchase for the upcoming spring, um, warmer months come around in the United States. Um, so <clears throat> I was looking around online actually I, I, I came across this company from a Facebook um, advertisement on my Facebook uh, page and I clicked on it and uh, it's a company called, and I might be pronouncing this, this incorrectly, but it's Kaku Kayaks, K-A-K-U. Um, I can't actually put the link up here in the video but uh, if you look down here you can see exactly how it's spelled in the video. And uh, what interested me was a Facebook uh, ad showing what looked to be a stand-up paddleboard um, that a guy was standing up and fishing off of. Now, um, if you're familiar with the industry of, of kayak fishing, um, there have been a couple of these that have come out um, mostly unsuccessfully. I know Jackson Kayak came out with a, a superficial um, that I did a review on from last year. I don't think that that's done that well. Um, but basically a stand-up paddleboard um, designed for anglers. And um, what, what, shot, what, what really drew me into this picture was this didn't look like um, a, a stand-up paddleboard. It, it had some features of a stand-up paddleboard, uh, but it also had some features of a kayak. And so I clicked on it, read more about the company. And so a little background on, on, the, on the company. Um, they were founded um, in 2013, so fairly new, um, out of Florida, right here in the United States. And they make um, a variety of different uh, angler kayaks, anywhere from 10 feet to they have a 13 foot long kayak. Um, they also make paddle boards. Um, I believe right now they only have two up. Uh, there's one it's about it's about 800 bucks or 900 bucks and then there's an inflatable one that they have it's a little over a thousand dollars so um, I'm not a huge paddleboard stand-up paddleboarder um, I, I'm more of the, the kayaker and the, the, the kayak fisherman um, but this really intrigued me from a standpoint of well could this thing potentially be um, a lighter boat to take out um, maybe it tracks better but what really intrigued me was the fact that you can stand up um, it looks like it's pretty stable to stand up in and fish. Uh, if, if you're a kayak fisherman like myself or fisherwoman, um, <clears throat> you know, some kayaks you can stand up in, um, you know, are stable enough to stand up in. My Ascend FS12T uh, is, uh, to an extent, you, um, you know, it can't be in, in really choppy water or anything like that, and, and you can't be hung over in the morning. <laughs> but. Uh, but you can stand up in it uh, to an extent, but it's, it's real shaky. Um, it, it looked like in some of the videos I've seen of this uh, Kaku kayak, um, it's, it's called the Kahuna is the name of it, um, that it's fairly easy to stand up on and, and fish. Um, it also has a seat that's, that's lifted up off the, the, what looks to be more of like a paddleboard than a, than a, than a kayak. Um, so you can sit down as well. Um, it has attachable rod holders you can put to it. Uh, handles for carrying. So I'm really intrigued by this this kind of hybrid 
um, more so than anything. And, and it, it comes out January of, of, of 2015, just in time for um, you know some good. Uh, right before the weather starts getting a little bit warmer here in the United States. Um, and I believe I saw online somewhere it's going to retail anywhere from $800 to $1,000, which is uh, which is you know pretty pretty average, assuming that the uh, the quality is what they say it is. Um, you know, the one thing that when I was looking at the specs online, it did say it was 60 pounds. It's 12 feet long. Uh, they only have this one hybrid that, that's going to come out. Obviously, as the company evolves, they could have potentially a shorter one. Uh, this is 12 feet long, but it is 60 pounds. And so my oldest end FS12T um, is right at about 58 or 60 pounds. So from a weight standpoint, um, it's not going to be a whole lot different. Uh, but I do like the fact of the stability being able to stand up in it. Um, just curious about the versatility of it and how it how it reacts in windy conditions. Um, if it's capable of, of having a, a um, some sort of an anchor system on it as well. Um, they do say you can attach a rudder to the back, uh, which would be interesting. Um, so it's just kind of a different realm um, to to kind of what my main hobby is, which is to go out and and kayak and paddle water, whether those be rivers, creeks, lakes, oceans, um, and fish when I can. So this kind of combines the best of both worlds from a, a, an SUP, a stand-up paddleboard perspective, as well as a kayaking perspective, um, and it's designed for the angler in mind. So I'm interested to see how that is. Um, if any of y'all have tried any of these products in the past, whether it be the Jackson paddleboard uh, designed for anglers, or any other brand, feel free to shoot me a comment. Let me know how that works out for you. Um, I'm really looking to, to make an upgrade um, sometime in the first quarter of 2015, whether that is um, just an angler kayak or whether it's it's the Kaku um, Kahuna, which is the uh, stand-up paddleboard kayak combo for anglers. So uh, I'm intrigued by this product. I'd like to see more about it as new, news articles come out between now and its release in January. Um, and watching more YouTube videos um, of some of the reviews of it. Um, but I was interested to see what y'all's thoughts were on it. Is that something that you would consider um, it, you know, in terms of where you are with your, with your kayak fishing out there for some of, some of my uh, subscribers who follow me uh, for those reasons. So at any rate, um, it is a cold winter day today um, here in the southeast in the United States. And so was brainstorming and um, looking online and thought I would post this video to see uh, any feedback that you guys can give as far as should I go that route or should I go with uh, you know what 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 angler kayak out there do you have um, that I should consider for my second kayak I, I love the Ascend uh, FS12T but as you see in my in my review there they did make some changes to it I'm um, 2014 model and it's a good entry level kayak I'm looking for something a little bit more um, Kind of juiced up at this point. I've been in it for a couple of years now, um, so looking along the lines of Jackson Kayak or Wilderness Systems, something along those lines. Um, but this one really intrigued me, and I'd like to see uh, see what you guys think about where I should go next with it. Should I go with this, or should I go with more of a traditional a kayak fishing um, a kayak? So anyway, drop me a comment and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, other than that. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for what I do purchase.